Yes, my man, olive oil, beautiful, beautiful ingredient to use in your recipes. Well, we're going to show you how you can use it this morning by making homemade pesto. And in the kitchen with us, we have Judy Dye. She's the managing director of Morgenstern. And I mean, pesto and olive oil, what a combination. Judy, very nice to have you in the kitchen it's with us. It's great to be here. It's yeah. really fantastic to be able to show you this. And I've chosen something that's pretty versatile, that's really easy to make. Um, making from scratch is, is generally quite a, a thing, but you'll see just how easy it is. And we're going to do three different versions of pesto. Okay, cool. So let's, let's start with a homemade basic one. All right, okay. how do we go about that? So essentially what all you need is leaves. So leaves, um, okay. I've chosen a series of different leaves because I've got three different olive oils. So there's no specific kind of leaf that you need no, to use? No, not really. Just nice green. Generally herbs okay. are used. I've chosen to use spinach, which is not necessarily a herb, but I'm using baby spinach, which um, okay. is kind of in between. Um, and then the, the difference in the olive oils are in terms of intensity. So I've got a delicate olive oil, a medium to intense olive oil, and a very intense oil. And that South Africa's changed in terms of the culture of using olive oils. Essentially, the owner of Morgenstern um, revolutionized the South African olive oil industry in the 90s by starting to produce really good quality olive oil from yeah. Italian varieties. All right. And so we've embraced that culture, but now we need to start learning that we have different olive oils. It's not just about yeah. one bottle of olive oil in our kitchen, so but three. So you can start playing around with different flavors as well. Absolutely, yeah. so they have to have different juices. So okay. this first recipe, we're using baby spinach, so okay. about two cups of, of baby spinach that you just throw into the blender. Right. This has obviously been, been rinsed yes. first and dried off again. And then, essentially, with two cups of leaves, you need about a quarter of a cup of um, grated hard cheese, All so right. parmigiano or pecorino. And essentially, for these three different recipes, you'd look for something that's fairly uh, mild that's for it. your first cheese. You're right. looking for a little bit of, of garlic, so about two cloves of garlic. These are rather large ones, so I think it's just one you're using. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't want to overpower it. Absolutely. And then some toasted nuts. Remember to toast the nuts because essentially that brings out the flavor. So another quarter cup of toasted nuts there. Perfect. And then it's simply a process of putting I'm it in a blender it. And, and pressing the button. All right. Um, so the olive oil is going to go in yeah. afterwards. So we then you chop it up. So till it's fairly fine. All right. Um, ideally, you would do this with a knife. Yeah. Um, and get a more chunky rather than a paste. All right. But so many of us, time is of the essence. We've obviously That's made it. one here up front that you can have yes. a look at. And so I can see this one has yeah. really been made really, really fine. Yeah, it's been made really, really pale. So you can stop it a little bit earlier, but look how beautiful oh, look that, that. that colour is. And the spinach flavours in that are just absolutely gorgeous. It. And it's actually not such a mission as you would think to make not your own thing. homemade pesto. You can see the difference in this one. Um, it's far chunkier. Yeah. And of course, you can just stop the olive oil whenever you, you're happy with it. If you want a drier paste, you oh. can um, use a little less olive oil. So anything from a quarter to half a cup of olive oil with your two cups of leaves. Easy as that. Now, of course, if you want to get your hands on the recipe to make your very own homemade pesto, very easy. SMS the keyword Woolworths to 33728. That's Woolworths to 33728. We'll send you the shopping list. Also, a link to the recipe that you can go follow. But if you want to see these uh, steps one more time, here's your chance. Combine nuts, leaves, garlic, and cheese in a blender and process till finely chopped. Drizzle in the oil, then season to taste. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword Woolworths to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. All right, and that keyword once again is Woolworths. SMS that to 33728. We'll send you everything you need to know to make your very own homemade pesto. But uh, Judy, you said you're going to show us uh, two other ways as well sure. and how you can make it. So this is using the, the Morgenstern olive oil. You can see from the top here, awarded 98% in a competition that judges worldwide olive oils. Beautiful. So this is one of the 12 best oils in the world and the only sure. South African oil. So very proudly South African. All right. And this one I've chose to do a traditional pesto basil, fresh basil, absolutely divine, picked in your garden, and then pine nuts, which is the very traditional. And then I'd use a slightly stronger cheese with that, because the yeah. basil's got quite an intense flavor. The Morgenstern olive yeah. oil is, um, yeah, exactly. is a very uh, strong... Um, yeah. 
and, olive oil. And it's also mm -hmm. nice one because basil is so easy to grow at home. Absolutely. I mean, you can have a lot of them, they grow very, very quickly as well. So you can have pesto all the time. And there's nothing nicer than going into the garden and just chopping off that fresh basil and having yes. that fragrance all over your hands. It's really fantastic. And then this is Don Carlo. Now, Don Carlo is actually an olive variety um, and it produces the most amazing, intense olive oil. So with the Don Carlo, I've partnered wild rocket and coriander right. and pecanuts and then use a stronger, stronger cheese. A really nice, strong pecorino with that would be fantastic. Exactly the same process. And the only other thing that you can adjust um, if you want to is a little bit of mold and sea salt, a little bit of freshly ground black pepper to adjust the seasoning. Um, and then it becomes, what am I gonna do with it? And you <laughs> yeah. know, all you need is pesto and some pasta to make a fantastic meal or in an omelette, if That's we're doing it. Tim Noakes, um, we're a little bit of pesto, <laughs> pesto in your omelette with some tomato to make dips mixed with mayonnaise sure. or creme fraiche or cream cheese. It really is as a base to pizza or a couple of dollops on top of a pizza. Gee, there's so many different mm. ways. Judy, thank you so much. I mean, I Great learned something pleasure. today because I thought there's only one way to make pesto. So this is great. <laughs> so once again, of course, all of these ingredients are available at Woolworths and uh, SMS that keyword, Woolworths 233728 to get your hands on the recipe to make your very own pesto at home. But uh, we are always very excited to uh, jump into the kitchen. So why don't you join Bonang, Jeannie and Bonnie in the Afternoon Express kitchen at 4 p.m. this afternoon. Of course, you can find that on three. But why don't you go along and cook with them and product developer Marley Roberts, who will be making Italian inspired roasted figs and a mascarpone cream. It sounds mouth watering. All you need to do is go to the Afternoon Express Facebook page, like the page, get the Woolworths ingredients list, and then you get ready to cook along with the Afternoon Express foodies. Easy as that. It's 4 p.m. this afternoon on SABC3. All right, well, lots more to come on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Here's Kat with a look at what's to come.